minutes or so. All right, so now we need to start thinking about how we can send email from our, from our application. Uh, it's a very common thing to be able to respond to people via email. So when they sign up for a, an account, you want to send them email. Maybe they want to subscribe to your newsletter, so every time you write something new, you send them an, an email back. If they ask you a question, you're going to send them email back. So that's a real common for all web applications. So we have to be able to send email. So there's a really good guide on this. If you go to Ruby on Rails, uh, sorry, guides.rubyonrails.org, these are the most up-to-date uh, guides on how to do things. And they go back, they have the guides for the 2 version and the 3, three version as well. Under the guides index, we want to look for action mailer basics. Action mailer basics. So this is this walks you through how to send and receive mail in a Rails application, right? So mail is done similar. They tried to make it as similar to the model view controller that we're used to. So we have a model view controller in our mailer as well. So a mailer has views associated with how our email is supposed to look. We want our mail to look a certain way. So we, we can have a template for what that email looks like and fill in things like, hello, username, how are you today? You know, and so it makes it look like a form letter that we fill in with data from our database. So that, that works the same way. The controller part is a little different because we don't have any direct action from the user to start the email. We have to have some internal piece to say, when the user clicks this button, I want to you to send an email. So it's not directly from the, 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 uh, con the view. The view is some other page on some other controller. And we click at that action. It goes through. We, we insert and say we want to add a mailer here. We want to generate mail. And from that point, then it has a model connection and a view connection for the mailer itself. Does that make sense? I went too fast there. All right. So let's, uh, let's go through. The first thing we need to do is generate a mailer, since Rails loves to generate code. Let's uh, generate a mailer, and we'll do some, something like this. And so we can say, we can right click in IRB and say run the generator, and we want to run the mailer. And we want to name our mailer, so let's look at our guides again. We need, to, we need to name what the mailer should look like. And this, this is just a name. Uh, you could actually have multiple mailers for your application. I could have a user mailer and a newsletter mailer and a blog mailer and everything else. But I haven't found much use for that. Uh, one mailer can do anything, can do all the mails that we need. So uh, we're just going to call it user mailer. That sounds good. All right, and this is going to go through and generate some code for us. Love that generation of the code. Files. Yep, not too many files. So I've got a user mailer, and these are stored in the application folder under mailers. Instead of controllers, we have mailers. All right, and that's our user mailer that we that it just created, and then some tests, which we haven't done any testing in our in our code yet. Probably won't. We don't test our stuff. Sorry. Um, so this is our, our mailer. And it, it can have uh, actions associated with our mailer. So this is like the controller. And it, it's going to have separate views associated with that. And in our views, we can do different, uh, different things. So go back to our guides. Um, we can create a specific mail view that is called the same thing here. So actually, I believe that the generator actually lets us do that. I wonder if I can, uh, I wonder if I can destroy this. Let's, let's delete this and try a different way. And generate a new mailer. Run the Rails generator, a mailer, and we'll call it user mailer. 
and we can give it some actions like uh, I think let's see if this will work uh, we want to contact us view and we might want a newsletter view newsletter This might be different in Rails 4. Look at that, it did, sweet. So this created not only our user mailer, but it created the methods, the actions. So if you think of our mailer as a controller, it has actions associated with it that we can execute. And each action, just like an action in a controller, has a view associated with it. So the view lets us put in, this is the template for what the, the mail is going to look like, all right? So we can put in variables, just like a view, we can pull things from the model. So in our user mailer, I could go out and get a list of all my products and, any, you know, I could say at products equals product dot all, same thing, right? I can get variables and I can loop through them on my views, just like I would if I was going to display this uh, on a web page, right? <clears throat> so our controller has, this now gives us two different actions that we can execute, all right? So let's, let's, uh, let's try to execute this contact us uh, action. So we need some way of executing that. And uh, so, Let's add a new link in maybe our movie page. Let's say our movie view. Let's say our show movies. So down here, let's say, let's add a link. And we need a method a new method uh, for this that we're going to control inside of our movie controller. All right, so this is all movie controller stuff, so we want to do it in our movie, and our movie controller will call our mailer, all right? So we want to email this movie, and we want to call a new URL, which we don't have yet, and so we need to create that in our routes file. I know this is getting complicated. But let's create a new route. Uh, it just needs to be a get. And it's going to be a movie slash um, mail. How about that? So that's enough to call the mail action on my movie controller. Right? All right, so let's see if that if that's going to work for us. Uh, we need to then uh, let's run our rig routes again. I lost it to see where that takes us. Come on. So my my movie mail. So that's my movie mail path. But nowhere in here is the actual movie ID, right? I need to have that in here somewhere. So in my routes, I need to know what movie is being sent. So how do I add a variable in my routing here? Do you remember that? Like this, right? I need to add a variable inside of my, my movie. So let's do it like this. And let's explicitly say this is going to go to my movie controller and my mail method. And let's create it as a, uh, a variable, a method name. We'll call it mail movie. Just so it's a little nicer. Let's rerun our routes and see if we get what we think we're getting. So now, automatically, this ID will come through the params for us, right? So it's going to be mail movie path, and we're going to pass the ID in there. Everybody with me on that? 
All right. So, <laughs> so I'm going to call the mail movie path, and I'm going to pass in the movie that I want to go to, and that should create the link on this page to go to the right place. So let's. I, I like to do these a step at a time. So this is on my show page. And I have a nice little email this movie. And if you look at it, it's got a 201 after the movie. So that's the ID of the movie record that I want to play with. And I want to call the mail action, which I haven't created yet. There's no uh, movie in here. And I think I have it wrong. It's got to be movies. So it, does, it couldn't find my controller. So I need to fix this to... Uh, Movies. No, that can be movie. Sorry. This needs to be my movies controller. All right. And then it says the action mail could not be found. So I need to have a new method. And where would this be put? Movies controller. Movies controller. Okay. So in my movies controller, see, it's all about knowing where all this junk is. It's a real pain. I understand that. So we need a new method in here. We'll just put it at the top. We'll call it mail, because that's what it was. And from this, I can get my movie by doing the, uh, well, I can use the existing method at the bottom, and this is Rails 4. This will set a movie for me. So. I want to call set movie, and I want to add this new mail method that I have. So now movie is automatically going to be set for me. Does everybody see that? This set movie is going to be called now before my mail action, my mail method. And set movie, all it does is do what the line was that I was going to put up there. So it's just a drier way of doing that. So it's going to look in all of my movies for the specific ID that was passed, and in this case, it's going to be 201. All right. So then, from here, I have an ID, and I can call my mailer. So I have to execute my mailer from this point. So let's go look at the guides again. Um, this is how we call the mailer. Let's see. So we're going to execute this user mailer. That was the controller that I have. And then I'm going to call the specific method. So this is similar to as if I was the browser on a controller. I'm going to call a specific uh, controller, in my mailer controller. And this is the specific action in that. And then I can pass it information that I want. I'm going to pass it some the movie information specifically. And then I call the deliver method on that object. And that will execute the method that I created in my mailer. So I'm going to say user mailer dot uh, create newsletter. I didn't create a nice one. I'm going to pass in my movie information and then call the deliver method on it. OK? So that is going to call in my user mailer this, which one did I call? I already forgot. Newsletter, OK. So in my newsletter, I have to have a way of receiving this. This is just like a normal Ruby method. If I pass data into a method, I have to have some place to receive it. So this is going to be a movie object that gets passed in. And I can set that to an instance variable. Why would I do that? Why do I need to set it to an instance variable? So I can use it in my view of my mailer, which is the, the template for the mail that's going to be used. <laughs> David's head exploded right there. <laughs> All right. So then uh, inside of here, I could do something like uh, I could say at movie dot, uh, what is it, name? Did I have a name? Did I have a title? Title? I don't either. So where do you find that? Well, you look in your database, in your DB folder, 
I, I look in here in the schema, and I look for my movies, and it's called name. All right, so I can access all the properties of that specific movie. All right, so, so let's see if this actually works. It will not, I don't have the direct, nothing happens after this, but let's just reload this. And create newsletter. So it didn't even get that far. So in my movies controller, Yes. So I need to call just newsletter. Thank you. Go reload this. I still expect to have an error, so that's okay. Um, but let's look at the uh, the log file. No, I got a different error. Ah, shoot, we're out of time. Don't just come back tomorrow with it fixed. <laughs> yeah, ta-da! It works. <laughs> All right, see, it, it actually worked. The problem was my redirect. So here's the actual mail. See this mail? It said it sent the mail to example. This is the mail. It said user mailer, hi, find me in. And this is the title of my movie, Integrate Scalable Architectures. See, it worked. This is the, the text of what would have been sent out in the mail. The problem is I don't have mail, the other part of the mail set up. But it does write it to the log so I can see that the mail is, should have gone out. Right. Uh, yeah, I have to set up so SMTP and stuff. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. All right, I know that's a lot to go through, all the different pieces, but uh, we'll go through it again tomorrow. So.